All right, uh, I have a bunch of uh, LM7812, so 12 volt three terminal regulators. So I thought uh, I could blow a couple up if need be. And uh, I've always wondered um, if you use <clears throat> the part without a heat sink, how much current can you get away with? Certainly 100 milliamps would be fine, but uh, I, I, you know, you're not gonna get an amp out of them, but how, how far can you go uh, under garage conditions? <laughs> so I have a setup here. Um, I have um, a part. It has uh, 15 volts going in, so it's got a three volt overhead. Um, it has a 10 microfarad and a 0.1 microfarad capacitor, 0.1 on the output. You don't want to put the capacitors on the output. You want the feedback loop to be quick. Um, and then I'm going to put a load on it. So here I'm putting in half an amp of load. Um, and you can see that I'm getting 12 volts out, 11.8, 11.98. Um, and what I've also done is I've attached a thermocouple uh, to the heat sink of the, to the tab of the uh, of the package and then I can go over here and I can read the temperature okay so uh, yeah uh, any guesses any experiences on using uh, regulators without uh, without a heat sink so um, we're looking at the uh, the LM uh, LM7812 it talks about Never exceed temperatures of 125 C. Um, if you take a look at uh, the um, absolute max, it'll tell you about uh, 150 C max junction temperature. That's at the at the actual die, and then you can get some idea of the. Uh, uh, thermal conductance, uh, thermal resistance of the packaging and everything, and you can back calculate everything. Um, I'm not going to do it here, but um, people sort of say um, if you have 75 watts dissipated um, on the heat sink, you're probably okay. That's the absolute maximum. But you're going to start out at, a, at an ambient of, say, 25C. So if you start out at 25 and you add 75 um, degrees C, yeah, I said watts, I think, degrees C, um, you end up with 100 degrees C maximum. So you really don't want to see more than 100 100 degrees C on the tab. That means that you have 75C of temperature due to the heat of the part, all right? And that's going to be about 1.25 watts. Um, anyway, you can do all those calculations, or you can just do what I did and measure. So, uh, here is my graph. Let me uh, put it down so I'm not wiggly. All right, so this is temperature, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 C. And then this is milliamps, none 100, 200, all up to 500 milliamps. And you can see the garage started out at about 20 C. If I went to 100 milliamps, it was gonna run around 45, went up to 60, went up to 75, no, went up to 70, went up to 85, and then it finally got up to 100 at half an amp. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, or pretty hot. <laughs> uh, currently it's at 101. Uh, running right, right of there. All right, so now the other thing that I wanted to test, now that we can say anything below half an amp, you might be able to get away without a heat sink. Maybe not under every condition, but you know, a quarter 
quarter of an amp, 250 milliamps, I have no qualms at all now using, the, uh, using no heat sinks. So I'm okay with that. But how far can we go past that? Okay, that's kind of the video here. I've done all of this offline. So let's back up. All right, uh, supposedly the part has thermal shutdown, so we'll see if that's true. We'll uh, go up to 600 milliamps, and uh, we will watch the temperature over here. I need something to uh, prop that up with. I need something heavy to prop that up with. It's not going to work, is it? Here. Ah, there we go. Can you see that all? Hopefully you can read that. It's just, uh, 77C. Uh, what's going on here? Probably because I just let loose. My little uh, thermocouple came loose. All right, I need to glue that back down. All right, I've glued the... Uh, uh, the thermocouple back on. So, uh, we are warming up here. We've got uh, 0.6 uh, amps going on. So this is going to take a while. We're at 80, 82C now, so let's wait. Should get it past 100. Alright, so we are back up to 100C and we're kind of stabilized there at 600 milliamps. I'm kind of questioning what happened in my setup. I don't quite understand this. Maybe my thermocouple won't go past 100C. I'm not quite sure about that, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and increase the current um, to 700 and see what's going to happen. Yeah, I may... I may have maxed out my thermocouple at 100C, I'm not sure. I don't know what the specifications are on thermocouples. I know there's different ranges and stuff. That's going up. It may be that we're uh, dropping a little bit of voltage here to compensate. I, I don't know. We're up at 100 and, 106 now. Let's go ahead and go up to 0.8. Yeah, we've... I don't quite understand this. We are going up in temperature again. We're at 110 C now. Yeah, it keeps going up. All right, let's go to 0.9. 0.9 amps. Oh, we've dropped down to 11.75. So that's not very good. Oh, there, it just crowbarred. It just crowbarred. So at 0.9, it crowbarred. Uh, let's go ahead and... There, it's just come back again. Let's do uh, 0.8 again. So it does have, it does have thermal shutdown, it would seem. Um, so we're right on the edge. So anyway, there you go. It's nice to know that it does have thermal shutdown. Let's go back up to, uh, I set, uh, one amp. Yeah, crowbar immediately. Look at that. Bang. So it has overcurrent and over, over, uh, it's got overs in it. <laughs> Here's it back again. And it does recover. Uh, it seems as though we've drooped a bit here. It's probably hot as heck. Uh, and this number should probably start increasing again, which it is. So, Anyway, there you go. That's just kind of fun in the garage today. Curiosity spr sprung by having too many parts. And uh, I will throw this one away. But yeah, there you go. Kind of a cute little little graph there. Let's uh, go back down again. 
Um, yeah, looks pretty nice. I'd say uh, anything below half an amp, it's doing pretty good.